On this episode of Sportsman's News Television, we're headed to Eastern Colorado with one of my very best friends, Wes Atkinson. He started Atkinson Expeditions about 15 years ago, and he was real instrumental in formatting the Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes. He's one of the best outfitters. He grew his operation to be one of the biggest in Colorado. And whenever I had ideas about what it was going to take to make this program the best, I always went to Wes for information. One of the other guys that, was, that actually was fortunate enough to win this hunt was Jonathan Hart, the founder of Sitka Gear. Jonathan Hart and I have been friends for about 10 years. Obviously some of the very first members were people that I've known for a long time. We told them all about what we were doing. Jonathan was also helped me shape some of the ideas with this. So when I was able to pull Jonathan's name out of the out of the drum for this drawing, I was really excited knowing that it was going to have Jonathan Hart with me and I was also going to have one of my best friends, Wes Atkinson, out there in a place where there's truly tremendous bucks. But one thing was real special with this hunt is Jonathan has a really good friend, George Peterson. He dedicated 20 years of his life in the Navy, became a Navy SEAL and Jonathan wanted to say thank you for your service we really appreciate what you did and being able to take a hunt like this a ninety five hundred dollar mule deer hunt in eastern Colorado and give it to somebody as a thank you just goes to show what you can do with the Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes if you win a trip that's something you don't want to do or even a situation like this you're able to give it to somebody and Hanging out with George and Jonathan being high school friends as well as Wes, it was absolutely a phenomenal time. So stick around, this is going to be an exciting show. That's a staple breakfast right there. That is right up your routine now. <laughs> oh wait, oh yeah, there is kale in there. there there's a lot of kale <laughs> and, uh, and other fiber. That way you know it's good. <laughs> Woo. That's a balanced, that's a balanced breakfast. Oh, dude, you got almost and, all your food group right there. <laughs> when I chase this with some coffee, it's going to be, I mean, what else is there to want? <laughs> really good white tail. Really? Like a wide, short tail. Like the 50s buck? Oh, it's so hard to tell, but it's a deer that you would really have to pay attention to. I, don't, I can't tell how long his time's are, but he's uh, not little at all. They're actually all, there's like two half and half mule deer white tails. George is intently, patiently waiting to find something to kill. <laughs> George? I already scolded George and told him to sit still. Right. <laughs> I can take my place. Did you report? I saw one that George passed on that I tried to get him to shoot. That's big enough. He's never killed a mule deer, so he's pretty picky. 200 and up. And then we saw another one that Deming kind of wanted to shoot because he was flying his freak flag and Deming found like he f found a friend finally. I'm waiting on a big white tail. We saw a white tail with a 10 inch drop time, 10 point, probably in the 60s unless he adds up a little higher. George said nah. Basically, can't seem to please this guy yet. So we'll just keep looking. So I, 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 I learned about the pro membership sweepstakes uh, right when it started, and just was excited about what that meant from an opportunity standpoint. You know, any hunter who dreams about these trips that either are cost prohibitive to go on, or you spend a lifetime trying to get points, uh, to have something like this. Uh, be, be available to uh, you know, your everyday Joe it was really one of those opportunities you just don't pass up. So I was one of the first people in from a membership perspective and uh, 
it was you know just a few months into it that I got that lucky phone call. You're not going to believe this, but you just won an Eastern Colorado mule deer hunt with Wes Atkinson. Uh, knowing Wes and knowing that this is going to be one of his you know, last trips out here in the field, I mean, it just it's like <laughs> I totally thought it was a joke. George had never killed a mule deer before, so he was pretty passionate about killing a mule deer, and we were seeing a, an abundance of them. This is a December 1st hunt. It's a rifle hunt, so the bucks are at the tail end of the rut. Most of the corn is cut. This is a good opportunity to kill a really, really big mule deer, and Wes has killed some whoppers on this ranch. This is why we had went ahead and booked this hunt. We booked it two years in advance. Wes told me this is one of his best hunts, so we knew our opportunities were really good, but there's also a bunch of whitetails in these river bottoms and in the corn, so there's a pretty special whitetail that we got a glimpse of that first morning that uh, really caught my attention. Trying to find a deer with character, I think we got it done. Uh, <laughs> the deer has a, is it drop or 10 or 12? I'm going 12. It's big, it comes way down past his friggin'. That's the biggest drop time I've seen. Maybe ever. <laughs> he's awesome. got a right side that's two, so he's got like a normal, like a three, and then a big bean. His left side's a five. And then he's got seven points on his right, minimum seven. So he's like a five by seven minimum. I think he has more score points than that. He's 22 wide or three wide? Yeah. 22? Uh, 22, yeah. 22 wide. Three. 22 and a half. And pretty old, yeah. <laughs> pretty mature. Not crazy old, but like five or more. You know, after a full day of deer shopping, uh, we were seeing some decent mule deer, but that white tail, you know, anytime you see something that's an absolute freak like that with a, you know, 28 inch main beam on the left and just, we had no idea what else was coming out on the right. Got that huge dropper and we just couldn't get a really good look at him, but he was impressive. He was big. All the white tails basically stayed away from him and he had a bunch of does with him. And, we just kept pushing and pushing on George. It, it might be something you want to consider. You you can kill a good mule deer the rest of your life, but that's probably a white tail. You'll never get an opportunity to shoot again. So finally, after a while, George finally committed that he would he would try and put a bullet in that deer. This deer, never in my career, have I shot a deer with a drop time that big. It seems like it would probably be foolish to pass that up. At least when not you to say it like that, it. Mike, it makes sense. Yeah. So what's our hesitation? I don't know that we Because it's a whitetail? 
Yeah. If it was a mule deer with a drop tine, we would have zero hesitation. Yeah, exactly. Because then so it kills two birds with one stone. We get his first mule deer, and then we also uh, kill a dropper. So it's because you haven't. I'm not hung up on. Have that you killed piece a white? You've killed a white tail. Yeah, but yeah. nothing like nothing. Nothing like close that. to that. I don't think we want to get hung up on first of something when that's the yeah. last of something. Yeah. Yes, I agree. I haven't produced anything from like a large scale. So it's even a we'll call it a DVD, even though the technology. It's the right saga of the drop tine white tail that we set on. And George willingly humped the ground for about six hours yesterday, prone over the side of the hill, hoping for that deer to stand up. We could have killed all the other deer, which streamed in a single file line right by us, except this buck. He's got a 10 or 12 inch drop tie and several other points on the right side and a five point left side. If he matched, he'd be a high 150s, 160 deer maybe. As he is, he's just got tons of character, super unique, kind of a once in a lifetime type deer. We've got him spotted again on day two. And we're probably gonna make a play this morning to see if we can get it done. So George just smoked the white tail that we saw yesterday, which was the first buck that made us pay attention because it was the first buck that we saw. And it turns out he has a 10 to 12 inch drop tine and a whole bunch of character. Sportsman's News pro member sweepstakes winner, giant white tail on the ground. We need to go check him out. Yeah. Let's do it. We should get our paws on him. Let's do it. <laughs> That's kind of like an understatement, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, dude. Man. What? What is dude, that Eddie. base measurement? Like 12? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? What? That's. I mean, it, seriously, what? doesn't it feel like he's bigger? He feels like he's a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. dude. A lot bigger. Dude, we were maybe not gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of known for that. <laughs> this wow. is what you call a hairy wow. So he's one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. Scorable. Maybe let's call it one. Two, three, broke that scoreable point off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight by nine. Eight by nine scoreable, and you could push it a little bit and say, we'll have to see. Dude, what mass on that right side is friggin' shit. This is gonna be the biggest. I'm not sure he didn't have, well, I don't know that. Did he have a double That's dropper at one time? Dude, he did. Holy cow. He, he broke double? the whole huge oh, dropper that. off. That's crazy. And he just broke it off too. Oh, oh, it's geez. just white. That's insane. Dude. Look at my ground. Dude, awesome. you will never, ever. Oh my Mike, I've never God. seen this in my whole career. <laughs> so George, tell me what you thought when when Jonathan called you and told you that he was gonna give you 
a hunt of this caliber. Dude, I was just fired up. Like, we've been wanting to hunt together for a long time and haven't been able to do it because of deployments and families and all the rest of it. And uh, it just made perfect sense to get together and get on a hunt. And uh, the timing and everything happened to work perfectly for this one. So this, the stars aligned as they do sometimes. And uh, <laughs> here we are standing over this amazing, amazing animal. So, I like the guy you invited to the party. <laughs> so this is exactly what I had in mind when I developed the pro member sweepstakes. Being able to take great quality people with outfitters that are the best of the best. I've known Wes Atkinson for almost 10 years and run one of the best operations. And all of our platinum approved outfitters are world class. They all provide great trips. They don't always end up like this, but when they do, and we capture it on film, you know, one of you guys could be one of the lucky winners. It was awesome to be with Wes and Jonathan and George on this hunt. And, you know, in addition to these guys, we also had one of uh, Wes's first guides, Rob Amadon. He started the company with Wes like 15 years ago, and I had booked another one of our pro membership hunters uh, on this hunt. Uh, Alan Denise, you guys may recognize his name, was he was also on a hunt with us in Sonora, Mexico, with WRO Mexico, killed a giant mule deer in uh, in Mexico. And then while we were on that trip, he said, "I want to kill another big mule deer," and I said, no place better to do that than with Wes. So he was on this hunt as well, and obviously just got a chance at a whopper buck. They passed this buck the first morning and we got a chance to go look at it after we got George's buck killed and packed up and why would you pass on this deer? That thing is a giant. We knew he was over 180 but turns out he was uh, really big at 193 and awesome to have him there. And That's kind of what we expect with our platinum approved outfitters. These trips that we've purchased are the best of the best they're the best seasons in the very best dates. We've paid full price for them, and we're out there marketing these trips and filming these hunts. So it's kind of enjoyable to be with Wes and everybody and the whole team to close out the end of his experience. And you know, all these hunts that we're giving away, I mean, we do a ton of top end hunts. We do sheep hunts, we do brown bear hunts. You know, one of the most recent brown bear hunts one of w that we went on, we had a winner on there, and same thing, we booked another one of our pro members and he went to Alaska and had an opportunity seeing tons of bears. They saw over 50 bears during the week. They're living on a boat, eating good food and take a quick look at this. This is a phenomenal bear hunt. Something you can expect. Getting a 5% discount on this hunt, going to be a great time. Hey. Feeling confident, Scott. Yeah. We got all day to do it. <sighs> Well, we've seen a nice one yesterday. We've made two stocks, we'll just, we'll just and see if we can... the third, three's a charm, so today's the day. We'll just see if we can get one that holds still and he's a good enough size yeah. bear. I'm going to go check crab pots pretty soon. Well, the there. kind of bear I want to see, you know those big trees in there? You see him laying out on both sides as he's walking That's... out. I want to be right behind you when we see that. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to go back and get more firepower. <laughs>
jumps on that same line and he comes out and we've got a good setup and we can just we can take him. Here we go. That's a tough guy. His boots are short. <laughs> Yeah, we put some crab pots out yesterday, and we're hoping they're full today, and uh, we're getting ready to leave to go look for a few bears and get our dinner for tonight. So, hopefully the pots are full. We'll take four out of that one. We can take nine. Nine We did real good in this crab pot. We got we got enough for dinner tonight. We're going to get some more. How oh, that bass Well, we'll go take a look around just a little bit since it's not raining. How's that? Shoot him. Shoot him again. He's immense. He is. If he was any bigger, I... He's probably 700 pounds. Doesn't matter what he is. I'm just... <laughs> what do you think? Unbelievable. I'm speechless. Culmination of a lifetime. Take a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Look at that. I got a saw. <laughs> We want to cut that. That's kind of a big one. It, it's, look at my hand. He's huge. You don't. They don't. You just don't get a size of their body when you're you're looking at them out there. And, but they're immense. This is huge. This I would not want to be swiped with this. Well, this has been an outstanding hunt with uh, Raven Alaskan Outfitters. Um, it's the fifth day of our hunt. We've got, we've seen 15 to 16 bears. We've made, this was our third stock, looking for a nice one. Um, we got within 15 yards of a bear today. It's just, it's been unbelievable experience to be up here the, the people, the food, the boat, it, this is this is a hunt that that I, I've dreamed about my whole life and and I'm here. This is a special. So I can't say enough good things about Alaska Raven, Out, uh, Raven Outfitters. Sportsman's Warehouse has been a just an outstanding it, uh, 
reference for me, just a tool to use to get some of these. I would have never known about this had it not been for the Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, being a premium member, I have access to it. Uh, discounts on hunts and, and I would have never been here had it not been for them so um, this was the culmination of a lifelong dream and uh, I couldn't be happier this is just I'm almost speechless <laughs> this is fantastic hey thanks for joining us on this episode of Sportsman's News Television this was a special show for me and I mean, it was kind of all the people that helped form the pro membership sweepstakes, what it was about, some old friends that I've been involved with for numerous years. Wes has since sold his operation, no longer outfitting, but we've replaced him with other new outfitters that do top quality hunts. So if you're looking to be booking a hunt in the near future, Make sure you become a pro member. You get 5% discounts on them. And then just don't forget, we're giving away one of those trips every 10 days. You can win one of these other great hunts each and every time we, do, we get into the drum and pull out a ticket. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next month. We'll have another great show for you. Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by... Alps Outdoors, exceed your expectations. CDA, it's just a better gun. Double Tap Ammunition, made with pride in the USA. Sitka, turning clothing into gear. Browning, the best there is. Bushnell Trophy Cam HD. And brought to you by your local Ford stores, home to built Ford tough trucks. What's America's best-selling brand of trucks? You're in for a big surprise, pal. Actually, you're not. It's Ford F-Series again, and it wasn't even close. Same trucks that have been leading the industry for 39 straight years. Why? Game-changing innovation, like F-150's high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, which helps make it stronger, more capable, and more efficient than ever. Innovation. It's why Ford F-Series is making every other truck brand history.